Thank you for watching KIMT News 3 at 5. I'm Jessica Bringy. The Dodge Center Ambulance Service is sounding the alarm seeking new funding from four cities. The department is looking to offset rising expenses and limited budgets for rural EMS providers. KIMT News 3's Evan Berg finds out what it could mean for the future of emergency services in Dodge County. As Dodge Center Ambulance is exploring its options for funding in the future, I spoke with AJ Gangler to find out what they're already considering. It definitely service to service, it varies, you know, and, and locally here it's about what the public wants. Um, what, what do they expect when they call 911? And that's, that's what we're trying to here to solve. It. AJ Gangler, Director of Ambulance Services, says that the service currently funds itself through a mixture of community donations and charges for services rendered. But that can vary from year to year, especially depending on the insurance of the people they're helping. You know, we bill uh, roughly $1.8 million a year, but we only are able, we only receive about $650,000 in cash. The service is currently considering two alternative funding models, a taxation district run through one of the cities they help, or a joint powers board run between multiple cities and townships. You know, still working towards that end goal of a long-term sustainable ambulance service for the area. Um, you know, we want to meet those expectations of what the public wants. The service currently employs three full paid staff, three part-time staff, and 35 volunteers. To serve those areas well in the future though, they're hoping to secure a bit more funding so they can adapt as needed. Um, you know, we're, we're still hopeful that we can come across something and, and figure it out. But. With elections coming up in less than a month, Dodge Center is unsure if they'll have progress on the plan now or if it'll have to wait until after November. In Dodge Center, Evan Berg, KIMT News 3. In the meantime, the ambulance service expects to receive a rural EMS grant by the end of the year.